Science play. Quest con science play. You can have lots of fun with science, so let's all play. Float the boat. Hi, I'm Cordelia. And I'm Lang. Here, Cordelia, catch. <gasps> Lang? It landed in the rainwater tank. Uh, don't worry, I'll get it out. It's right down the bottom, I can't reach it. Uh, what could we use to try and get it out? Um, maybe my shoe. Good thinking. Did it work? No, I still can't reach it. Uh-oh. Lang, I think it's about to rain. We better get out of here. Look! The ball's at the top! All the rain must have filled the tank and the ball floated up. Now I can reach it. Catch. I wonder what other things float or sink. Let's try it. Okay. Let's use this tank of water to test the objects in the chest to see if they will float or sink. I wonder if this coin will float at the top or sink to the bottom. Well, science is all about exploring and discovering, so let's test and find out. Ready? It sinks! What about this wooden pencil? Hmm. What do you think? I think this one will float. You were right. What about this block of wood? What do you think? I think this one will sink. Ready? <gasps> it floats! What about this marble? Hmm, a marble. What do you think? I think it will sink. Ready? I was right. And what about... Oh, oh, this rock. That rock looks really heavy. I think it'll definitely sink down to the bottom. Ready? <gasps> it floats! How could that rock float? It's a special rock called pumice. Can you see all those holes? They're filled with air. Blow in your hand. What do you feel? I feel air. This rock is filled with lots of air bubbles that help it float. I have a balloon here. It's also filled with air. I wonder if Lang can push it all the way under the water. Let me try it. Oh, it's really hard because I can feel all of the water pushing back up on it. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea-green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five-pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh lovely pussy, oh pussy my love, what a beautiful pussy you are. You are, you are, what a beautiful pussy you are. I have a lump of plasticine here. If I place it in the water, do you think it will float or sink? I think that it will sink. Let's see. It sinks, but I want it to float. What could I do to make it float? Maybe we could break off a tiny little piece. Good idea. No, it still sinks. Maybe I could change its shape. 
Like that? That looks like a donut or a pool toy. Ready? Oh, that sinks too. I've got an idea. The owl and the pussycat in the poem went to sea on a boat. Boats float, so maybe we could make it into a boat shape. Good idea. So I'll make it really flat, like a pancake, and then curl up the sides. Finished. Do you think my boat will float or sink? Let's see. It floats! So the solid ball sunk, but the hollow boat floats. I have some stones here. I want you to guess how many stones it will take to sink the boat. I think ten stones. Let's count. One, One two, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. Ten. <laughs> ten stones. So it took ten stones to sink the boat. Let's go for a row down the stream. Grab a hold of your oars. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now let's sing the crocodile version. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. That was a scary crocodile. Let's look at some more boats at the Australian National Maritime Museum in Sydney. This is a tugboat. This is a submarine. This boat's a patrol boat. The deep blue sea, sea, sea. A sailor went to chop, chop, chop to see what he could chop, chop, chop. That all that he could chop, chop, chop was the bottom of the deep blue chop, chop, chop. A sailor went to knee, knee, knee to see what he could knee, knee, knee. That all that he could knee, knee, knee was the bottom of the deep blue knee, knee, knee. A sailor went to see chop knee to see what he could see chop knee. That all that he could see chop knee was the bottom of the deep blue sea chop knee. Was the bottom of the deep blue sea chop knee. Submarines are amazing. They can dive underwater and then sink right down to the bottom and then float back up to the top. I have a pet named Squiddy, which I've trained to sink down to the bottom and then float back up to the top, just like a submarine. Would you like to meet him? Can you say, hi Squiddy? Hello Squiddy. Now I've trained Squiddy to go down to the bottom of the bottle whenever I say, go down Squiddy. Squiddy sinks down to the bottom, and whenever I say, go up Squiddy, Squiddy floats to the top. But I want to see if you can train Squiddy to go down too. So on the count of three, I want you to yell out, go down Squiddy. One, two, three. Go down Squiddy. <gasps> you did it. Now say, go up Squiddy. Go up Squiddy. Well done. Down up Squiddy. Up, Squiddy. Down, Squiddy. Down, Squiddy. Down Squiddy! Up Squiddy! Up Squiddy! Stay in the middle, Squiddy! Middle, up Squiddy. Squiddy. Down, up Squiddy. Squiddy! Down Squiddy! Down Squiddy! I think Squiddy's a little bit tired and confused. Stay at the top, Squiddy. Good Squid. So I've had Squiddy for about wait, two wait. years now. And Squiddy he went always down! No, he didn't. He stayed at the top. And he always does what I tell him to. Good Squid. As I was saying, in the two years that I've had Squiddy, I've trained wait, him to Squiddy go down to again. the bottom. 
Cordelia, are you trying to trick me? No, Scooty went down to the bottom and back to the top when he went looking. I don't believe you. Because Squiddy always does what I tell him to. I trained him to go. <gasps> Cordelia, you're right, Squiddy. Go back up to the top. Naughty squid. Do you think Squiddy is a real squid or a toy squid? I think Squiddy's a toy squid. You're right, he's just a toy. You see, inside Squiddy, there is an air bubble which makes him float. I've got another Squiddy here, which is made from a dropper. Inside the dropper, there is some water and an air bubble at the top. To make the dropper go down to the bottom, I squeeze the sides of the bottle, which makes the air bubble smaller. Water rushes in, it gets heavier and sinks down to the bottom. To make the dropper go back up to the top, all I have to do is let go of the bottle. The air bubble gets bigger, pushes some of that water out. And gets lighter and floats to the top. I bet this Squiddy will be that Squiddy. No way. Let's have a race. Down, Squiddy! Go down, Squiddy! I have some bubbly soda water and some sultanas. When I place the sultanas into the soda water, do you think they will sink or float? Let's see. It was a trick question because they sink and float. They look like they're dancing. Can you see the bubbles of air on the sultana? They act like floaties and make the sultana float to the top. When the sultana gets to the top, the bubbles pop and the sultana gets heavier and sinks. I know another experiment that uses bubbles of air. In this cup, I have some blue water and some yellow oil. The blue water sinks down to the bottom of the cup and the yellow oil sits on the top. I'm not going to add a fizzy tablet. The fizzy tablet sinks through the oil right down to the blue water. And what can you see? Bubbles! Those little bubbles are there, carry out blobs of blue water, then the little bubbles pop and the water sinks back down. I won! Cordelia <laughs> touched first! Good work. Have you ever been in a running race? Did you win? Well, today we're going to have a different kind of race. In these tubes, I have different liquids. In the first tube, I have some slimy oil. In the second tube, I have some thick honey. Ooh, I love honey. And in the last tube, I have some runny water. I've placed a marble in each tube and on the count of three, we're going to turn the tubes upside down and see which marble sinks the fastest and wins. Which marble do you think will win? I think the marble in the water. I think the marble in the oil. I think the marble in the honey, because I love honey. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three! Go, 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 go! Wow, that all happened so quickly, I couldn't see who won. Let's look at it again. One, two, three! Yeah, I won! Oh. You were right, good guessing, Lang. Mine hasn't even moved yet. <laughs> the marble in the water was the fastest and won. The marble in the oil came a close second. And the marble in the honey hasn't even finished the race yet. <laughs> oh, I really like that marble race. I have another tube here with a marble down the bottom. And this time I've got some green water and some yellow oil at the top. Wow, that looks really cool. Well, let's see what happens when I tip it upside down. That was amazing. Oh. But Cordelia, Lang, can I have my honey now? Sure. How about now? Now, now quick, get yeah, my honey. Excellent. There you go, Marty. <laughs> We've looked at objects that sink or float, but liquids like water can also sink or float. In these jars, I have some 
red hot water and in this jar I have some blue cold water. Let's see what happens when I place them in the tank of water. Wow, look at that! Which way is the blue cold water going? Down! And which way is the red hot water going? Up! Looks a little bit like a waterfall and a volcano. Here I have some blue coloured water and some yellow oil. I wonder what will happen if I tip the oil into the bottle with the water. Look, the oil floats on top of the water. I wonder if they'll mix if I give the bottle a shake. It looked like they mixed, but now they're separating back into a layer of water on the bottom and a layer of oil at the top. I'm going to make some beautiful pictures using some inks that float on water just like oil. First, I'll squirt in some red. Some yellow. Green. And lastly, some blue. I'll give it a little bit of a swirl with my comb. Some paper on top. Give it a tap. Let's see if the paper has soaked up any of the colours. It's beautiful! And now I'll put it down here to dry. Maybe you can make some colourful paintings at home. See you next time!